Hello guys, and welcome back. And today I'm going to be talking about the regular and drag of Tina Core and the Velocity Racer. These two equally priced sets are from the regular and drag of Season Trap, which was released on the 2020. So these regular and drag of Season Trap sets are retiring right now. So this is the last chance you guys can get the regular and drag of Season Trap sets. So this video is about what is better and what is not. So now let's get on to the main thing. So first, it's the regular and drag of tuner car. It has four minute figures and one key breed. The tuner car's price right now is thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So it's almost forty dollars. So. So the main thing about this build is the car itself. First here's Digikai with the alternative base. And it's caught with the non-masked base behind. Back printings, it has this ripe, ripe bar stock to it, but I reckon it even more better without that. One key raid. And two red biters with the base right here on the show and right there like some scary looking base. Okay, so here is the car. It's just like the regular Ninjago X Run Ninja Charger or the regular Ninjago Sub Subspeeder. It works very well like the X Run regular Ninja Charger. Now, Brunted rips right tree up and down and you can stick a braid or a sword in here and it has this game controller instead of a car handle and here in this space you can you can put the key braid box just up there and shut the raid got this designs right here Wheels, it has stickers. Not much to see right here. The bottom is completely almost exposed. So, with this brute here piece right here, it gives you the regular hidden side rig. So, this thing's detail is almost made out of stickers. So, I don't recommend who those are not very bond of sticker prints. Now let's see the main feature of the set. Right there's a tiny white bar and just put the key braid right here if it's perfectly and just turn it and it's a bit hard so I recommend turning it on hand without breaking the key, key braid or anything. So here it is, and this is not all. You can flip the wheels, like. And this thing just turn into a helicopter or a plane, or I suppose. You just have to flip this back on. So that was the only feature of the tuner car. So the good thing about this car is that the color scheme is really great and it really matches well. And the feature is okay too. But the bad thing is that this as detail is almost all almost made out of the stickers. So there are no printings in the regular pieces. So now let's see the Velocity Racer. So here is Jane Roy's Velocity Racer. So it's a two set made out of a bike and 
this jet. So this set price started off at thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents, just like the regular Ninjago tuner car. But this set's price slowly got lower by over time, and now it retails for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, so the first good thing about the set is its price. Now let's see the bike first. So this is the bike. This this board blade is extremely long, and this is a printed piece, not a sticker. But this board one, two, three, four are stickers, and it has game controller instead of a car handle, and this flips upside down. So it doesn't stand very well because this. Wheels are a bit thin, I suppose, so it can't stand very well. But it also stands there. This is from the bureau look. It has this touch gray. I don't think it matches the color of the whole bike. So this is the place where you stick your swords. And I don't have much to say about this bike. It doesn't have any playing feature. Like I said, it doesn't stand well, so it doesn't roll well either. So I have to hold it all the time and play with it. So now let's see the jet. The details are very smooth and good. It has this white. Pieces right here and this right green braid. A place where you stick your swords again, like on the sides. And the barrel look, it's a pretty normal set. But I don't especially like this white piece sticking out. But that's for the main feature of this set, so I think it's a bit okay. A lot of sticker friends, one, two, three, four, five, and this turbo booster engine or something. Game controller again. Move this right upside down. Very decent pro to play with. So now let's see the main feature. And this set comes with three main figures and one key braid. So I put the key braid right up right here and just press this. And I just use my hands. Then the brace rip up. And it becomes a attack mode or something like that. This is the speed mode and this is the attack mode. So that's this piece not covered up. This mini jet is like the Stormbiter 2.0 with the same feature as that. So here it is, you can just play with it like holding this. So in this set there are three minifigures, Dizzy J, Dizzy Royd and Ruti. Or what it says on the box cover, house now, and one key break. The detail of the minifigure is okay. So what I like and dislike about this set is first I start with what I like. So what I like about this set, this is two separate builds. The tuner car was a big chunk, but this set is made out of two, so you have two different options. And it contains two ninjas, and it contains Rich's hoverboard too. And what I dislike about this set is this bike does not stand very well. And this set started off as the same price as the regular Ninjago Tuner car. So I'm guessing that there should be one more extra minifigure because it has, has started at the right price. So I would have appreciated more to this set when it was it had if it had one more rat gang minifigure. So this is the whole set all together. So what is better, a set? 
the tuner car or the Velocity Racer. So I about I advise to get the tuner car because it has two red visors and one almost exclusive Scotland figure. Scotland figure appeared in only two sets. But the Velocity Racer's minute bigger are just common. And the pink key braid is truly awesome. That's the key braid that the Brew Ninja uses to summon the Brew Dragon or the Cyber Dragon. And the tuner car's functions are very really great. So that was the end of that. And if you guys like this video, please subscribe. And goodbye. <laughs>